Hey guys, my name is Alex Telescasas. I am in a class called Mobile Forensics at FIU taught by Faisal Kaleem. And we are about to learn how to use the program Oxygen Forensics. This program is used to acquire forensic evidence off of a mobile phone. And today we're going to be using an iPhone 4S. So we have it connected to the computer. We have iTunes updated, we have all the the latest drivers and we're going to use Oxygen Forensics to acquire all the information. So let's boot up Oxygen. Eventually. Now this class is, this video is for educational purposes so you know, nothing malicious. So we're going to connect new device. Okay, there we go. We get here. We click manual device selection. I'm going to put Apple. And now I'm going to scroll down for iPhone 4S. We'll click next. So this actually co took me a couple of tries. I was convinced. Okay, wait, what? I did it like five seconds ago. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Um, maybe it wasn't connected right. This computer is rather old. Sorry for the delay. Let's try that again. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, it's connected. For sure. Does iTunes know it's connected? iTunes thinks it's connected. Let me see. We can... Okay. Um... Okay, I might have to redo this video because, okay, so here we're in, so next, see, this program is uh, whatever, I don't know, I don't know, I don't have any of this stuff, I'm not, I'm not going to put the guy's name, it's not mine, let's just skip this. Yeah, everything. Okay. So, right now, we are taking a backup of all the files on this iPhone 4S. Um, I don't know how long it'll take. I've never used the program. But we're already at 4 minutes, and this video is supposed to be 15 minutes, so hopefully it won't take that long. Um, you know, while I'm waiting for this to load, essentially, <coughs> this this is one of many forensic tools to evaluate phone data, and uh, I just picked one from a hat. Basically, it's not particularly better or worse, to my knowledge. Thirty minutes later. Okay, and we're back. You know, part two. So, um, as you can see, I finished extracting. It took like 20 minutes after the video, last video ended. So like 30 minutes in total. I'm going to, instead of saving it, I'm just going to open it. So, 
So here I'm gonna move this window to this side. Now this is a relatively new phone. I'm gonna block out my face for a little here guys. Um so What does he have here? Um. Okay. So let's look at his phone book. So these are all the people this person knows. Don't steal these people's information. There's a gin, pretty large amount, and it has pictures too. So you can really stalk these people. Okay. And it really organizes it too. It tells you like their, you know, their their occupation, their internet site, their ad address for some, their birthday, their b some weird stuff. Okay, so don't look too into who these people are. You know, there's a lot of contacts. Probably multiple versions of the same people and everyone he deleted. So that's a lot of people. That's so okay. Um, let's go back. Uh, messages. Oh. Let me try to do this again. So, so. Okay, so. Let me make. So you can read all his messages. I'm out, you know, like. I mean, it really makes it so easy. There's no, there's nothing difficult about going through this thing. <laughs> um, yeah, there's some funny stuff. Oh look, he's got an attachment. So, oh. Can we see that attachment? Ooh, it's a picture. Um, you get the message. You get the the idea. Let's go back to the phone and see what else we can get. Um, um, event log, whatever that is. So. Let's listen to this. No, it doesn't let us listen to um it shows us like all his calls and stuff. This is only answer missed dialed FaceTime. It yeah, it makes this stuff really easy. Just um we can look at the device information, you know, where what where he keeps his I almost don't feel comfortable putting this on the internet. See, this is my friend. Um. Yeah. So. Um. Let's try organizer calendar. Probably 
probably just you know see all this information so see the name of well you can't see my finger but we see it name of the event okay let's see what else there is okay file browser so there should be some good stuff here um, we can look at his photos which he doesn't have any full screen this for a little so So here are his pictures. Yeah. So there. That's the general. I mean, let's see, you might have a video. You can watch his videos too. Okay. So, I mean, that's basically it. We got a lot of information for the free version. Um, there is a paid version where you can get all this stuff, you know, his, his web connections and locations, his passwords, his Facebook stuff information, where he was, you know, I mean, but it costs a lot of money. So that's essentially the video I hope you understand how to use this program it can take quite a while but it ends up working pretty well well my name's Alex and hope you guys have a good night goodbye